We are at the Hard Rock Artist Lounge, and we're so happy to be talking with Jax. Hello, and this amazing puppy. And this amazing puppy. <laughs> they brought puppies. You know, we, we, we had to make you happy. Oh, my God. I'm so, happy. We're so I'm real happy. <laughs> pumped that you are part of our leading ladies, our Odyssey leading ladies here at the Hard Rock Cafe in New York, the yes. hotel. So um, we're just so excited you're here with... Um, uh, Ingrid Andres and BB Rexa and Marin Morris. Yes. So I'm so excited. We've met actually, we have a mutual friend that you've done content with. And um, you are one of the most fun people. Your content, I don't know where you come up with it. And <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like, does she just, does she ever sleep? Do you uh, ever sleep? Not well. <laughs> the things I'm working on in 2023 are sleep and hydration. <laughs> so far, yeah. <laughs> so far it's all right. But uh yeah, no, I'm trying I'm trying to get into sleep routine. I'm I'm learning how to put my phone in another room. <laughs> it's really important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I I am I, I am I, I did a thing the other night where in my sleep, like sleepwalking style, went into my TikTok settings and turned my comments off. Which is like there were no there was no reason were they to they talking to you in your dream and your it, I think dream? it was just the anxiety of having like people the new song and people like what people thought of it and I tried to like be tough during the day being like yeah it's whatever like so you read the comments on oh your I read all the comments I reply to the comments I like I'm I'm way too invested in the comments Cinderella snapped I mean I just have to say you are the um, biggest female advocate. I think right now you're my favorite anyway. Oh, and I love how you talk to all women, including um, young people. You say what no one has ever said for years, oh, right? I don't you're, know about that. You're ta- well, you're taking sing on. It. You're singing it. <laughs> but you're singing it. And you're taking on, I mean, major corporations like Victoria's Secret and Disney and... <laughs> Oh, geez. Do you know how many people were happy like about that? Me. I know. I know. <laughs> Only the two most powerful corporations know, ever. Right? I'm like, okay. I know. I, I had, like, severe paranoia after Victoria's Secret because the intention was never to, like, fight with a brand. It was, like, more of a goofy metaphor. And, like, I, and then when they had responded to it, I was like, oh, crap. Like, this is where it's getting real. Um, but, yeah, no. Cinderella snapped. I, I, I do feel like Disney's, like, going in a cool direction. Like, I've seen some, like, awesome movies. Even, like, Frozen. I don't know. I'm on, like, the Reddit, deep Reddit, like, <laughs> theories about Frozen being about mental health and stuff like that, mental health awareness. So, yeah, I, I think, like, I, I'm not the first person to say that, like, the old version of princesses are is just a little outdated. But I wanted to rewrite the princesses as if you know, they had other priorities and stuff. So. Yeah, they do, <laughs> yeah. right? Don't call me baby, equal pay me. Probably, yeah. like, we're going to write that in our studio and, like, you know, get tattoos. We should get a tattoo about. of that <laughs> just on our butts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just so, it's so empowering. And um, Victoria's Secret, that is just like, gosh, you know what? We did grow up with that. We grew up with oh, that yeah. image and, you know, so many girls starved themselves or got hey. sick trying to look <laughs> like those people. Yes. So um, your fan base is incredible because, uh, you know, you're just fun anyway. But then when you get down to what everybody's thinking, it's, it's really I good. have been so lucky, like beyond, beyond lucky. I did not realize all of a sudden we'd have like young girls and their moms and because I don't know everyone's like oh you're like you're inspiring young girls and I'm like oh god oh no this is so much pressure and and then the girl dads that come in that are trying to have like awkward conversations with their teenage daughters and like yeah. thanks for singing about it so I didn't have to have that conversation was like the dream as a that's songwriter. the most amazing thing it's a, it, it is, has been very very cool so we're I'm meeting so many awesome people along the way and like I don't know I get to perform on stage with with three women that I am absolutely obsessed with, like to a creepy extent. Um, so hopefully I don't freak out they and I, I'm going to. So, oh goodness, well, that's hello. good. That's fun. And, uh, I was thinking about, um, gosh, you went from, well, you, you were well known, but then really TikTok kind of changed everything for you. Can you talk about that a little bit? I, I started having fun on TikTok during the pandemic like everyone else, and it was just my escape as a user on the app. And um, 
you know, you have all the like industry folks being like, oh, you got to get on TikTok if you want to break through music. And I'm like, oh, God. And I a, was lot like, of, a lot of artists don't like that. They, they feel a lot of pressure. Yeah, because you took it's right to new it. media. It's a different it's a different world. Like you have to be kind of have the stamina to just keep pumping out content all the time. And I, I struggle with it every day, but I didn't expect it to do what it did. I think like when I started on TikTok, it was a parody of a song. Mm -hmm. My mom still gets mad at me about it because it's like Stacy's mom from Stacy's mom's perspective. But I just picture her but being like okay. my mom, like the Stacy, why is your boyfriend being super weird? And then from that point, my pr the pressure was like, oh, well, okay, all of a sudden I worked my whole life in music to pay the bills I was writing for other people and failing. Um, hi, are you licking the mic? <laughs> um, and then when that went, I was like, oh God, I'm not an influencer. I don't know how to be an influencer. I, I, I'm not it's a comedian, a, like by accident. It's, uh, but I, I hope that people care about my original songs. <laughs> and, uh, the, I think when people actually paid attention, that was the actual dream for any songwriter. So we're, we're, I'm over the moon. Yeah. Um, well, have, your success is amazing. Thanks. And I think one of the things about watching your videos on Instagram and TikTok, I just love you. I feel like I'm like at your house in your apartment <laughs> and she's and you're just like goofing off. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you have like John Stamos there right. for your mom. Yeah, like, we're all that freaking out. <laughs> most fun thing ever. Yeah, people are always like, she's made it, man. She's friends with all these celebrities. And the real truth is that I just like harass these celebrities. Well, that was going to be one of my questions. Yeah. Because you're so big now, I would think that a lot of celebrities and a lot of artists would be like, Jax, can I like do, you know, a video with you? Yeah. Um, who were you the most surprised that said that said yes All of after you harassed them? Oh, oh, um, hi, oh. <laughs> this is so hard to do. This is like the biggest challenge right now. Um, surprised so that they said yes. Uh, there's actually a few coming up where I'm shocked. But uh, I think the biggest shock was Christian Chenoweth. Because I love her so much. And I grew up, I went to like four different versions of Wicked as a kid. <laughs> I knew that song like the back of my hand. And when she agreed to not only come over, just hang out and like eat charcuterie in our, <laughs> in our, in our kitchen. I'm like, oh my God, this is really happening. And she, she was a shock for me. But I honestly feel even John Stamos just pulling up to like flirt with my mom was uh, is bizarro. And, and <laughs> it was so awesome. She's like, I know. I'm like my dad's sitting fan. there. My dad's like punching the air. <laughs> <laughs> It's so great, and the, and the kids and the girls that you uh, babysit, and, yeah. and just everybody. It's just like, oh, who's who's gonna come sliding into Jack's apartment now? You know, it's I, a lot of I'm fun. on I'm on social media a lot, so obviously, and I and I go through my feed, and every time I find you know, a kid who has an awesome skill or a unique talent or yeah. a crazy story yeah, or great. like a dream that they want to, you know, get some eyes on. I'm like, get over here. Let's do it. Let's sing about it. Yeah, and you're very generous oh, with, I mean, um, with people they, and the, helping they, them. They have been very generous to me. So, you know, got to use that space for something cool. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm cool enough to fill it up. So these, these girls are really awesome that come over and sing. Yeah. And they're, they're like little stars. Now. They really are. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, can I manage you? Are you signed? <laughs> it's like a four year old. <laughs> How do you feel now that you're engaged? I remember reading like, we can't afford a ring and yeah. you know, and, um, shield your eyes. I know. <laughs> do you, have you started wedding planning? Oh God. A little bit. Um, we didn't, you know, we didn't realize that right when we got engaged. We'd have all these like people reaching out about d dressing me and I'll host your wedding. Great, right? Everyone's great. After you. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, are you offering? Because we need a host. We're like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I meant host, like like Karen. venues That's are it. reaching out. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we we uh, we David's bridal. Right. And, like the yeah. They oh, just gosh. want in, That's which is the dream. It's like you never get that. So. But you're touring now, and you yeah. have a lot going on. Are you going to have time for a wedding? Are you putting it off? Um, are you, you're giving me anxiety. Okay. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. I I didn't get engaged. You did. <laughs> You're totally right. I'm out here being like, if I don't do it now, we don't do the wedding now, then I'm just going to, it's going to be the longest engagement of all time. So we figured maybe October, which is giving everyone fall anxiety wedding. in this audience. Fall right wedding. Now. I love fall. So I, maybe October. We'll see. Okay, good. I really hope I'll it be happens. planning it on the tour bus okay. during I, the of summer. Of course you will. <laughs> and uh, I met your fiance. He's amazing and he such amazing. a love. You guys seem perfect together. So He's congratulations. Thank you. And since Jax is from East Brunswick, New Jersey, and I'm a Jersey girl. Dirty Jersey. Caps here. <laughs> <laughs> it, what do you think? Is it pork roll or Taylor Ham? Oh, pork roll. 
pork roll. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean, even know what Taylor Ham is. It's like is the it Taylor a name? person? I don't know. But I love that you're a pork roll girl. Yeah. Jax. I've never heard of Taylor Ham, so. Uh, yeah, it's like the <laughs> official name. One of our leading ladies for Odyssey tonight. So excited. Congratulations on thank your you. success. And thank you so much for having me. I can't believe that I get to be part of this. And I am freaking out already. Have fun tonight. I can't wait for you <laughs> How could to you go not? out there. I'm just like, I hope words come out when I get up there. And also, I don't know, nobody really like realizes this part of it, but we have some badass women that are part of the show that aren't even us. Like it's my, our, my guitarist is like all yeah. the way from Venezuela and she can shred. And it's like a, so many women on stage. Um, Maya Sykes is, is doing vocals, background vocals for, for BB, I believe. And she's yeah. one of the best vocalists in the game. And I'm like, this is just a cool stage that we get to be on tonight. So that's great. Have a great time. Yeah, Congratulations on the success of the newest single, Cinderella Thank Snapped. Thank you. Jax on the hard rock Artist Lounge stage for Odyssey's leading ladies. Yay. Have a great time. Thanks for really listening. <laughs> Bye, guys. Woo!